let us consider a chain having a total length capital L we want to suspend a portion of a chain of length L such that the chain is not going to slip down from the table as some portion of the length is hanging it is obvious that the remaining portion will be on the table itself chain is being a one dimensional body with a length dimension would like to say mass of the chain is directly proportional to the length of the chain itself now there is a portion of the weight acting in the downward direction we can calculate how much of the weight is acting in the downward direction but the weight is not the weight of the entire chain only the mass of the chain that is hanging and the acceleration due to gravity we have to write i would like to write mass of the chain hanging is total mass by total length which is called as mass per unit length multiplied by the length therefore it will give you the mass per unit length will give you the mass of the chain per unit length as the hanging portion is having a length l its mass will be mass per unit length multiplied by length and hence the total force acting is nothing but the weight that is capital m by capital l into small l into g where capital l is the total length and small length is the small l is the length of the chain hanging so this generates this weight generates a tension or a force in the chain because of which the chain tries to move in this direction and automatically of course the train further tries to slip down like this as the motion is on the horizontal space from left to right we can identify a friction automatically starts developing in the opposite direction we know the value of the frictional force equal to mu into normal reaction let us assume that the surface is rough where the coefficient of friction equal to mu normal reaction is the reaction to the action what is the action the force of the weight that is acting in the downward direction it is obvious that the again entire weight is not there on the table only a portion of the mass what is that portion of the mass mass per unit length i can write l minus l mass per unit length will give you the mass per one unit as the portion of the chain on the table is capital l minus small l that much of the mass will be there and hence the force acting means we have to multiply with the weight that is the action the lower surface applies the same reaction in the opposite direction therefore i can say frictional force equal to mu into normal reaction where is that normal reaction is as it is shown this much so for the chain not to slip off for the chain not to slip off the forces due to the friction shall be balanced by the force due to the portion of the chain that is hanging in the downward direction or the weight which actually creates a tension so what we can say is the force due to the friction shall be balanced by the force created by the portion of the chain that is hanging now we can cancel this uh, g terms and uh, m by l terms so what is remaining is uh, mu of l minus l equal to small l so i can further multiply this and we can rearrange the terms that implies what we can finally say is the portion of the chain that can be hanged is mu coefficient of friction by 1 plus mu and multiplied by the length this is the way that how can we solve the problem if suppose uh, someone has uh, given a kind of problem that uh, coefficient of friction is uh, something like 0.5 then i can calculate 